Hello and welcome to Sports Sky News. I'm Jim White and today is the only day of the year I make love to my wife because it is deadline day and I am rock hard. We're going to be reporting all the latest news all around the country from Watford to Watford to Watford. But begin with, we're going straight to Watford where our reporter Jake is live in the scene. Jake, how are you doing? Happy deadline day to you. Yes, and a happy deadline day to you too, Jim. I'm here in Watford, and the rumours are it's going to be a late night. They plan to be very busy, and it could go down to the final couple of hours. Um, Fanderson are targeting a striker. Um, with Gray and Deeney injured, losing two of their last three league games, they don't think Jal Pedro is doing enough of them up top, and they've fallen out of favour with Murray, but we don't know what's happened there. Um, a lot of Watford fans will be saying, why not bring back one of the many strikers we have out on loan? They have Pesetto at Udinese, Hernandez at Getafe, Becraya at Espanyol, and the young Irish kid Cassidy at Accrington Stanley. Not to even mention De La Feu, who would be a huge welcome back here at Watford. Only cost them a few couple hundred thousand, but no, they want to keep us at Sky on our toes as they do plan to bring in a striker. I've got one last question for you, Jake. How hard are you? Oh, I haven't managed to get hard in 15 years, Jim. Fanderson. What do you want someone young for these, or do you want someone that? I mean, I don't mind, just anyone really. Probably quite cheap. We don't have loads of funds left. How much do we even have? So I think we've got, I reckon we've got about 20 mil. 7.2 mil. Because look how we've got a lot of strikers here. I say we get rid of Paseca. Jamie, I think we should maybe say to ourselves, the next person we get an offer for from the first team we sell, whoever it is. Oh... No. Why? Yeah. How much is he worth? But that means he's got to go, Jamie. I hate to say it. You oh, agree? No, be we, could, we could get him up. You agree? We agree. We, we, okay, we can. He can go because that is a ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> but do you want to boost it? Like, do you want to like? Yeah, I think we put, should. We go in with fifty million. Them? Or is that too low, considering they think 65? Shall we say 55? Yeah. That's like a 10 minute gun, then you do it. Oh, gosh, I don't ever control these menus. <laughs> what do you mean, me do it? <laughs> so negotiate. Oh, oh, my God. No. Bruno, listen to me. I do not think 45 mil is enough. For Saar, this is Saar. He's 22. He has the whole future ahead of him. I don't think it's enough. They're gonna kick us out, they're gonna laugh at us. Hopefully they counter. We'll go no more higher than 70. Maybe 75, because we need him. But I just, I, I, don't, I don't think 45 million's enough. Surely it's not enough, they're just gonna laugh. We're not gonna get him. Oh, they're cool, they're ready for me. So what are they saying? We'll go in the 45, hopefully they counter, and we'll go no any higher than 70, 75. Okay, ciao. Uh, how jammy are we? It's unbelievable. <laughs> I've been slating him all, all season as well. Oh, Jamie, I mean, that changes everything. If we can get 50 million for him, we've got 100 that's million right. transfer budget. Yeah, right. How much is Sergio oh. Ramos? No, I, oh, I don't think he'll leave. Uh, proposed new transfer fee. No, you should have said player swap and we'll have Ronaldo. <laughs> 55 that like they'll just leave it there yeah well yeah that's up to you, they, yeah. he well, might haggle us down to 50 but that's fine unless he walks away imagine how angry you're gonna be I will, yeah i will be upset but i think we just gotta go for it haven't we go on shall i press x go on play swap ronaldo as well we want ronaldo <laughs> on top of this deal <laughs> Yeah. 
As the clock ticks down, there's exciting news happening down in Watford. I'm about to have my first wank. Jake, over to you. Yes, Jim, some unbelievable scenes happening here in Watford as Ismaili Saar is on his way to Juventus for a reported fee of 55.6 million. That breaks the championship record for a most expensive player leaving the championship. Saar, only 22 years old, is on his way to Italy, which means Watford's transfer budget has just been blown. It's, it's, you know, I mean, Already before this transfer, Watford had a bigger budget than anyone else in the Championship. Only about four, not even four any different clubs to decide matter for 12 million, just most of them don't even have a transfer budget of 12 million. And now they've got 55 million to, to just ponder. With only seven hours left on the clock, it, it could be anyone's guess what they do now. <laughs> Okay, do we want to rethink this, the, the rest of Transfer oh, Day strategy? <laughs> I just want to see. Did that just say just... Birmingham City have bought Addy Boy or, or did it say sold him? No, I, no. I did buy it. Oh, no. I thought it said Andy I think we do need to right mid. Like, or a right winger. Yeah, I think that's fair. What a name. <laughs> Chinese, Beijing Guan. I don't know any good right mids. Um, Who's the crap? Well, we've got loads of money, so we can literally have any right mid we want. How much do you reckon Grealish should be? Left wing. So, what we could do... Is play pe Palestri on the right. Is yeah. That think? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think we do that, to be honest. What a cracking team that would be. You're joking. That can't be happening. This is unbelievable. I've just got off the phone to one of my many sources to tell me Watford are making a big money move. Jake, what's happening down your end? Yes, Jim, and let me tell you right now, I might be getting my first hard on in 15 years as Fanderson is going to meet with Dean Smith about a potential deal for Jack Grealish. And this would be huge for a club like Watford to bring in not only for captain of Villa, but a club legend that is Jack Grealish to the championship. That would be phenomenal and it, it will definitely put Watford on a trajectory to get them straight back into the Premier League. This would be huge. For, for Fanderson to mess this up, it would be diabolical and I don't know how they could do that. Um, with Saar going for 50, 55 mil, as we reported earlier, it's possible. They have the funds. It's just, let's hope they don't mess up that deal. I think with Grealish, though, do we want to get the ball rolling now? Cause it... Yeah, yeah. We, like, I think we need to get the ball rolling as soon as possible. I don't know if they'll let us have him. And I reckon they'll want something ridiculous, won't they? Probably. I mean... Go on, approach to bar. Let's just see. Let's just see. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? I think... Right, hang on. I'll Why is our transfer... Oh, no, 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 no. Transfer budget's only 7 million. Oh, maybe because it hasn't gone through. Oh, no! That means we can't get in, though, because we've gone into this screen. Can we not go into... Uh-oh. No. Oh, no. How are we so stupid? And we can't even back out. No, that's it. We can't get him. All we can do is often, like, what we've got. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry, Liam, if you watch. <laughs> I can't believe we just did that. <laughs> Imagine if we get this. What would you do? What did you do? 11 million answer? Did you do? No. Nothing just, in. Just sir. Just a straight swap for and a 25% sell on clause. We'd need another 17 and a half million. Problem is, 
we don't have it. Maybe no, maybe if we walk away now, because they haven't said get lost. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, let's try it. I mean, all the best. Because then not, we can we're always come back. Again, uh, no, because I reckon. I've just noticed, been. Jamie. You know, Kapoo's shirts normally first. Sars is up there. <laughs> So uh, now, Jamie, we know uh, we need to advance. Oh, we can't do it. We can't go back into it. And I can report I am full flaccid now because Fanderson. Oh, the vote, vote. <laughs> it, it's up for Grealish deals off. Fanderson called for deal, called for meeting way too early. For funds, didn't come in for Saar yet. Saar hasn't even landed in Italy. Um, that's when for funds will come in in about another another hour's time. So they they met with Dean Smith. Dean Smith travelled all the way down to Watford. Um, they chatted, and then when it came to putting a price on the table, um, it turned out. They didn't know what they could do because they didn't know what the board was allocating them. All they had was the um, 11 mil, I believe they had. And, and so they just, from, from what we've heard, from the birds, we've just heard they were, gave 11 mil and thought maybe we can bring back Saar. Like Saar's halfway to Turin, we'll just bring you back, you can have him. And obviously, Dean Smith was like, what for? Like, yes, <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's approach because that he's only worth between three and four and a half. Four and well, it four says two point nine there. there. That's what I'd offer on the screen there. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to add a sell on clause because we're never going to sell it? No. No. Submit up. Hello. He's he's rubbish. He's that sentiment that we play in the cup team. Do you want to just get rid of it? Then? Uh, six hundred ten thousand he wants. Can we know? Do you think it's worth negotiating the money out down or not, or just doing that? Because like, Something if you do the maths there, two point mm -hmm. six plus point six is. Uh, what, 3.2 mil we're effectively paying for it. Mm. And that's assuming well, we couldn't does... sell Keen or whatever his name is for slightly more than that value there. So you're saying counter? I'd be tempted to count. But then I think oh, it's only 200k and we've just got 55 mil from Star. So what does it really mean? Ah, oh. right, we're going to have to do it then. I mean, he is a good... Yeah, I, I think, think that's fine. Whatever. Don't you think it's a bit annoying that, like, you can't go away and think about the offer? You have to do it there and then. Yeah. Do you want to check? Can we not Can we not still get Grealish? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No. Ah, no. oh, that's so annoying. Good. We just got a bit too eager. I oh, know, we did. Oh, that, it really is. How annoying but, is that? I mean, even... Mike, don't worry though, because we still have January. We could get him in January if yeah. we desperately need. Yeah, to. I guess. And then that could be like, if we're struggling still until January, then it's like we could hype it up like we're going to need a big player to come in in January, <laughs> <laughs> and then pull out Jack Grealish. Uh... <sighs> kind of think of the storylines, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, another signing. Another Joins the club. Last minute signing in the eight hours to go. Um, yeah, hi, <laughs> hi Jim. Um, sneak surprise there. I didn't think I didn't think this deal was important enough to talk about. Um, so uh, uh, Pablo, uh, Pablo Hervis, yes. Um, Pablo Hervis is um, a Watford player. Um, obviously, the disappointed disappointment of Grealish, um, you know, with the funds being a total fuck up, to just put it bluntly. Um, I don't know what time. Yeah, fight me. I don't care. Grealish isn't coming to the club anymore. Um, Pablo Hervis, Spanish, I think, name like that, coming from club. What Vale Valerweed, You know, purple. 
Um, it's a swap deal. Um, it's two point something mil with uh, Bubba Dominigos or Quinner. Fun name to say. Dominigos Quinner. Um, going in the other direction as part of a swap deal with uh, what we believe £2 million added onto that. So he'll bulk their attacking strengths out on the right and we'll see We'll see if he does anything. But back to you, big boy. Sarsal, yes. Yeah, but they've had a catch 49 million. Bloody chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stingy board members. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are they doing with that £6 million? <laughs> Tucking it away somewhere. Well, what about we'll Snodgrass? Hour. We're not flipping <laughs> Snodgrass. Why, why don't you like Snodgrass? <laughs> because we're not. I'm not buying bloody Snodgrass. Why? Why not? <laughs> I'm just... Oh, I can't. <laughs> we are literally becoming Manchester United. We're not. What other man are you playing? Matter. Matter. That's it. Um, oh, the Palestri. other guy, Palestri, and now potentially Mengi. Could get Greenwood as a right wing. No, I don't really. I don't really like Greenwood, to be honest. Oh, so we're not even going to pay all these wages. It's not much anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> let's just agree to that. Yeah. There we oh. go. One million three hundred thousand. I'll say agree yeah. to it because we don't it's have to accept it awful. at the end. Oh, Capoo's back on the wall. <laughs> Now we've got rid of Sal. Right, so we've got him now. Oh god, he's awful. Jim, you've done it again. A little sneak attack, you. Um, yes, um, this, is, this is actually a bit of uplifting news. Um, Fanderson actually have one of their targets. They've brought in Mengi on a loan to Bowie deal from Manchester United. Uh, the young lad has a lot of potential. He should really like boost that defence and he'll put, he'll learn a lot. He's got old United friends there, Ben Foster, Mata, Palestri, so he'll fit in. He'll fit in really well. Um, so oh, This should be a really good signing. So uh, back to you Jim. What about Nanny? Do you remember Nanny? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, is he too good, do you think, you mean? No, he's like too old. He'll be like 30 something. He's higher rated than Greeley, Sean FIFA. Is he actually? That's surprising. Adama Traore. I reckon it'll be quite spent. We can look at Shall we try it? Chief Scout Chris has said it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure, let's have a look at Traore. And... I kind of want to big, bring in a big name. Because uh, it's only Matter so far that's a big name that we've brought in. So we don't know. We don't know how much. For Traore, no. Is worth. there a way to find out before? Can you get... And No, that's cheating. No, then. <laughs> yes, hi Jim. Still here in Watford. Busy, busy as ever. Um, so, so yes, with only one and a half hours left on the clock, Watford have now identified two big targets to bring in to bolster their attack and to spend some of that SAR money that has just came into their account now. Um, obviously, Grealish is off. Dean Smith wants nothing to do with Watford ever again now, understandably. Um, but it, it's looking quite promising because um, Watford are interested in the heir to Messi at Barcelona. The very young and very promising and too fatty. And if what I feel like a lot of Watford fans would love to bring him in. Because even if they bring him in for about 40 mil, in a few years you just know he's going to be over 100 mil to sell. His, his potential is it's, it's to the stars really. Mbappe, Haaland, Fatty, they are the future. Um, and then along with Fatty, they've identified body bo bodybuilder and oily man, um, Adama Troy all over Wolves. Now, if I was a Watford fan, which obviously I am, I would know who I would want. 
Well, we could go for Traora if you wanted. What do you think? So, do you... No, I, I want to know think... your opinion. Well, he's got more traits. Who? Fafati. And he's got a bit weak for <laughs> better name as well. Yeah, but part of me wants to buy like. Do... Would you say Traore is a big, much bigger name than Fatty? Because I've heard of Traore, I've never heard of Fatty. Well, he's only seven. He's only really started playing this after this year. Because Chris also seems to think that that Fatty will be quite expensive. Like it's not like we're just buying a really young player that we can get on loan from Man U for like seven hundred thousand. Yeah. Try Traore first, then if we don't get him, we'll get Fatty. Okay. Well, we've got 55, I say, at least 40-something. Oh, I would have said 30, you see. No. You don't think... I reckon. Well, but, Jamie, look, I've got, I'm going to put it to you this way. We went into the Jack, Jack Grealish thing thinking we had, like, well, like 60 mil, and you thought that was doable. So how are you going to be saying that Troy always worth 40 mil? Uh, I feel like he's just... You don't want to be laughed at in the comments for spending too much, Jamie. I know. <laughs> I, think... I don't know. I really don't know. How about we split the difference and go 35 mil, and if we don't get him, we don't get him. And that's a sign that we should maybe bid for Fatty. Fatty. Should we do Got that? Them. We are paying well because we are Watford and people know we want to buy yeah, players. Could be. And especially because it'll be on the news that we've just sold. <laughs> it'll be the news that we've sold South 55 million. So people now are knowing that we're wanting to buy. Yeah. So I'd actually argue that that was why we tried to get in for Grealish quickly before the news broke. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not because we're amateurs and don't know how the FIFA career mode works. <laughs> Exactly. We're just making a show. All right, 35 now. You can press X. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not pressing X. <laughs> oh, Chris is going to laugh at us, I feel. I'm just going to do it. 36. 36 million one hundred. I mean that's so that's not too. That's, I was in. I think we we had quite a good estimate there. To be fair, should we accept that? Hunt? Yeah, go on, accept it. Like we're always going to play him. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Accept that. Go on then. <laughs> You're too busy eating, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm stressed. <laughs> I really like his hair. I try your always. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, it's quite nice. Disregard. My client's salary is looking Oof. at 46 and a half. That's a lot of money. Five goals? Five goals? That's nothing. Answer it then. I'm pretty sure it said that. Oh, yeah. Should we give him a grand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a grand for five cars. Oh, you can remove the bonus if you want it. Oh, should we do that then? May as well, yeah. What do you think? I don't know how he's going to react to this, because I think that's quite fair, but because we've adjusted the numbers. Oh, there we go. Get in. He's keen to join, but <laughs> it's a revelation. He, do, he knows he's going to be in the championship with Wolves. <laughs> <laughs>
it is a record fee for the club, £36 million, which beats the championship record and Watford's own transfer record for Adama Traore. They could have had Fatty, but no, they thought, let's, let's go for the Barcelona reject instead of the Barcelona future man. Um, we we'll see how it turns out. I could look like a mug, but I absolutely doubt that 100%. Um, we've only 45 minutes left on the clock. It has been a late one. Um, we've almost... We've ran out of room. We've ran out of more room. And we've stored out our bottle of tequila. So that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of the night because our hope for Watford has pretty much gone. <laughs>